Welcome and welcome back everyone. I hope you're all ready for Christmas. Clearly we're already at the end of 2023. So I would like to do a video of best and worst purchases in 2023. Um, so none of these purchases are super regretful. I will explain in the video for each item, why do I love them and what's the struggle with them. So let's start from the best purchase. The top number one is this Dior bucket hat. So I've been using this hat a lot during the year and I put on a hat string by myself. So these are detachable. I think I wear it on this monogram print once because I was wearing all white and that pairs really nicely however I think it's a little bit too flashy to have the logo it's quite elegant so it fits both formal and casual outfit the second best purchase is from Longchamp so I purchased this one from Collins Street Boutique and since I've been using it all the time it already start to become a little bit slouchy which I don't mind because the leather will soften up and it has a really nice shine to it it's a very good backpack to go out for a day so if I go out with my daughter and I need to carry lots of stuff. I pull our facial tissue, wipes, everything we need in here, and the big compartment. I can fit in some pencils to do coloring, and card holder. A little coin purse and it's super roomy inside and on the back we have a side pocket and put something in here for easy access but I don't recommend put anything that's valuable in here because when you wear it someone does this I don't know maybe I won't notice so it's just too easy access, you know. And also the strap here, you can change them in different lengths. Very useful. So when my hubby wear this bag, I'll move it to the longest strap for him. And for me, the tightest one fits just right. It will be very low maintenance because of the leather and it's very low key the only logo you can see is here and that's very subtle and people who know the brand they will recognize the hardware very understated let's move on to the next best purchase which i'm wearing is this rose gold bangle and I have an unboxing video for this bangle months ago. So if you're interested, please check it out. I never take this off unless I'm going to the pool. And it has been a little bit annoying to be honest because the closure mechanism has a little hook here. It tends to hook on something stringy on my clothes or I'll throw on the lounge or any you know or some of the blanket however I got used to it pretty quickly so after two months it doesn't happen as often because I will be very conscious not to do this around any silk or knitted blanket or jacket 
Move on to the fourth best purchase of the year, which is I'm wearing today, is this beautiful Mickey Moto pearl necklace. Let me take it off for you. If you have watched my vlog video in Japan, you will know that I picked this one up from the Ginza Mickey Moto main store. It's a six millimeter quality three pearls, Akoya pearls. They are so nice and stunning. I don't need any help to put this on. So you put the hooks inside and push it. Very simple and easy. I also have an unboxing for this. So if you want to know any detail about this pearl necklace, please check out the other video. And let's move on to the next best purchase, which is also from Japan. I got this one from the Isetan Alaya Boutique. It's the eight bag for me for this year because I because I'm really lacking some small bag that looks quite casual and fun in this size. And I have been in love with this bag. It is so easy to pair with it. I'm very I I really like this bag in red, but I'm glad I got this in black because it's so easy to pair with everything. I haven't got to a situation that I grab this bag and swap it to something else. On the other hand, there's a couple of times I grabbed my other bags and I was thinking, mm, I'll go with this one. There's no many downside of this bag. If I have to say something bad about it, um, maybe it's, it's too easy to get scratched because you can tell the leather is very smooth. So if you scratch it lightly, it leaves a mark. And that's all the successful purchases for 2023. And let's have a look at some of the worst purchases. The first one I can think of, I already threw it out because it's broken. I'll insert a video clip here. I was showing you guys in one of my jewelry video and the pearl on it just came off. To learn from it, I will stick to the brand that I know because I never own anything from that brand. I don't know about the quality. And for hair accessory, I'm not ready to spend more than $50, I think. So that's why it's worth purchase for me. Next worst purchase of the year of 2023 is this red skirt from AJE. Size 8. Um, AJE is one of Australian fashion brand. I do have dresses from them and I love them. I guess just because of the fit and the style, this dress is not staying in my closet. And I saw this online, I was thinking it's such a bright color and it will work for Christmas and I can wear it all the time with my black or white shirt however since i got it i never be able to wear it outside of the house once so i tried many times at least five times at home and i couldn't find anything paired with it there are several reasons i think the first reason is because of the design of it it's it's just so bizarre um, and it doesn't fit with my other tops. The only thing I think it works right now from my wardrobe is this white button down shirt with some necklace, just keep it simple like this. But however, I'm still not happy with the look. 
And second reason is because this belt area for the dress, I think it's too thick. I'm very petite. It's going to chop the vertical line of me. I guess I shouldn't shop online. At least if I try in the shop, this won't happen because if I tried, I won't get it. I don't know. It might suit someone who's tall, like 170 or 175, but not for me. I haven't gone through everything I purchased in 2023 yet. Um, it's not a lot of stuff, but I'm planning to do a video to talk about all the pros and cons about everything that I purchased during 2023. Stay tuned and watch that video later. I'm very interested to know what's your best and worst purchases for this year. Please leave your comment down below and let's have a chat. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you all spend some time with your loved ones and enjoy your holiday. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.